This machine could become the nightmare of all field weeds. But as of now, there are just 25 operational units across 7 European countries. I discovered it just last week when I visited a university fair. It stood there surrounded by hay bales and I was immediately intrigued by its design. I've never seen anything like it, so I went up to the booth and a friendly guy called Timo talked me through it. Unfortunately, I don't have the footage on camera, but we talked in German anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I will give you the info myself. The Farming GT, which is the name of the machine, weighs 2 tons and is just narrow enough to fit on a normal trailer, which comes in handy when you wanna take it from one field to another. It has two different sets of hoes in six rows. One of the sets swings around for in-row weeding and the other should be stationary duck food weeders to catch any rascals that grow in between the rows. It's battery powered and should last 24 hours hours on a single charge. At least I think that's what Timo told me. I've also seen some two-year-old videos from their YouTube channel and the prototypes lasted only four to five hours. So the company Farming Revolution GmbH must have made some significant improvements. How the machine works is that for every row there is a camera hooked up to a computer. The footage is processed in real time with an AI program to detect the weeds. Once a weed is detected, the hose swings to cut it down with 5mm accuracy, meaning that if you have a weed growing 1cm next to your plant, for reference 1cm is about this much, the machine should do a perfect job of cutting down the weed and not touching your crop at all, which sounds good to me. Technically you could let Farming GT run 24-7 because it works even at night and cut your row crop herbicide expenses to zero. Zero. One machine can do 70 hectares per week and consumes 1.5 kilowatt hours per one hour of operation. And this is about all the info I have on Farming GT, but I have a question for you. Do you find the machine to be a good idea? Or do you think that weeding with a laser like the tractor sniper one is better? Or would you just stay with herbicides? Let me know. Thanks for watching.